if he plays poorly, he could take tons of harass. Tons of damage. And here we are back into game. Okay, yep. we see Tristana waddling up bottom lane with Ari and Leona. Yep, null magic two pots on Garen as it looks like they're all grouping bottom. They're probably going to invade. Caitlyn and Thresh will not see this invade happening until they get really close. Yeah, they're all running into that bush. <coughs> so if an invade does happen, purple team will probably have to concede the buff because Elise is in top. Well, on the, on the plus side for the purple team, it is, it's very unlikely that they'll actually be able to get a kill off this invade. They don't really have any good ways to lock people up. They're probably looking to move in soon. Yep, there they go. They're going to get spotted out. Oh, Nocturne got pretty close to Nocturne, Thresh. Nocturne, oh, he takes his Q. He's going to take a swipe at a Thresh. Nope, never mind. He gets trapped, and they're just going to take the blue. <coughs> what I would have liked to seen there would have been something really clever and bad. Where, where, like, where, where like Tristana rocket jumps over that wall and comes from the side and tries to scare them back into the team. That would have been interesting. That also could have been really bad. Yeah. But they will take the blue. Skarner's already on his way to... Oh, I see, blue. I see. That's what the teleport is for. There's a teleport by Garen to top lane. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, Elise gets some of that blue buff experience, so it's not going to take much for her to get to level 2. So that's bad news for Garen. And I'm sure Garen is thinking something fishy's going on because his lane opponent isn't there yet. Alright, so he will get... Harassed right there, and then there goes his passive. Oh, interesting. Zed started Q. Oh no, he's level 2. <laughs> so he probably has Q and hopefully his shadow. So, not much happening right now. We'll probably won't see much action from the junglers anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so Zed with his shadow and his Q. Mm, oh. Garen real brave there, just standing out there taking all that free damage. Well, pops one of his two potions. He really should spend more of his time in the bush. Lots of dancing going going on in mid. Lots of pushing being done by Tristana because it's Tristana. Yeah, because you can't really help it. And Garen is level three, and so is Elise. Okay, in bottom lane, once the Leona Trist hit level three, that'll be their point. That'll, that'll be a good time for them to go in if they're gonna go in. Oh. A little bit of action on, in mid. Are you getting hit by stuff? Oh. Oh, Garen got close, but then he got stunned. He's gonna take a lot of damage. Oh, he pops his W. So that'll be down for a while. I forget how long that cooldown is. It's like 20 seconds or something. Bad right. news is that he's already out of potions. Oh. Whereas... It looks like Elise still has a bunch. Elise should probably still have two potions. She still has two mana potions as well, so... The longer this goes, the worse it's gonna get for Garen. Yeah, Garen needs to chill out in that bush and gain some health back. Oh, she switches to spider form. Interesting. Mm, fortunately, she's... doesn't get those last hits. Oh, we got a level 3 Skarner gank. Interesting. I don't see that working too well against Tristana, but you never know. They might catch Leona. Uh, the only way I see this working is if they oh interesting never mind that that gank had no chance of working <coughs> i thought skarna's just gonna leave the lantern there and let the duration run out mind games oh we got a gank on mid and zed will just walk away 
Yeah, Zed walks away. Ari missed her stuff. Oh, I oh, saw a hook oh. going out. No, nope, must didn't not see what happened. I, yeah, I guess he didn't hit anything. And we got Nocturne going to top. Yeah, at least way pushed up. No war. See him coming. Garen really telegraphing it though. Oh, oh that's at least bad. his stun is down. Yeah. She and flashed, Nocturne, but she got hit by the red buff. And Nocturne fears a minion. Oh, but Garen getting destroyed by the minions. Oh, get these creeps off me. Nocturne. Now Nocturne getting destroyed by the minions. So... Yeah, if Garen stays, he will probably be in big trouble. So there's some big misplays right there by both sides. Skarner showing up at top as well. Think he's going to go through the lane? Not... I don't really think he's needed here. I, I think he's wasting his time. Oh, never know. Could always use the assist gold, I guess, if he gets to. But he does. I don't think he's going to get anything from this. Because if Elise kills so him, I'm pretty sure Elise can just solo him before Skarner will, can walk over there. I'd be looking for Elise to try and land a stun right here. I would have wanted to see Skarner go around oh, and tower late. dive him from behind. Garen's passive is up. Now's not the time to go fight him. And there goes his passive. At least yeah. should probably just be looking to stun. Yeah, like Skarner really should be in the blue jungle, come ready to come up behind Garen. He's in a really bad spot. Yeah, and he's leaving. He knows oh, it. Volatile spiraling will blow up on Garen. Oh, and they took a lot of damage and bought from something. So they'll probably just auto attack harass maybe. Zed pushing up on Ari because there's not much Ari can do about it without wasting a lot of mana. I'm surprised Garen's recalling. He's passive is going is healing. Anyway, looking at the CS, it's pretty even in bottom. Tristana ahead one CS. Oh, Garen went back and he's teleporting back to top. This teleport is on cooldown yet again. It's a nice pickup. Level 2 boots, then Merc Treads, that'll probably help. Very interesting. Skarner is behind in farm because he spent so much time in other people's lanes. And Elise is up on Garen by 12 CS. And Zed is up on Ari by 4 CS. Oh man, that Thresh is in there. He wants the tower dive. Yep, Thresh just wants to land a hook and get someone. Tower diving Leona though. Historically has not been a good thing. Well, if you were to hook Tristana in that position, Thresh would instantly die. Because I would assume Leona would use her skills on Thresh and Thresh would die under the tower. For a minute there, it looked like Ari was going to roam to bottom, but saw that Zed pushed the wave, so she had to go back. Yep, changed her mind. Looks like Skarner gets a blue buff. Yep, Skarner will take the blue buff because Zed doesn't really need it. And we're back to farming. <laughs> Garen has caught up in CS. But he is eating her ass. Oh. I thought he would have ran up right there because Elise just like dove in so far for that. No. Forced to burn a potion and there goes his passive. Again. Just auto attack harass from Elise. I'd really like to see Garen just trying to make a oh, move. Oh, Tristana, bad rocket jump. Oh, but, but nothing will come of it. Not punished. Get the soul, Thresh. It would have been nice to see Thresh go for a pull right there. Yeah. Because with the rocket jump down, he could have forced a flash. And Elise still trying to bully Garen, but there's not really any CS advantage anymore. Not much happening, but things should be happening soon. Both junglers are six. I'd expect to see the first move come out of Nocturne. Man, I really want to see a gank in mid. Because uh, uh, Zed has a bazillion Doran's blades. Ooh, very interesting. Nocturne took the second blue for himself. Alright, so yeah, I'd like to see a gank right here, but Ari is not home. Ari went back to spend her gold. As a Seeker's Arm Guard, it's good. Seeker's Arm Guard plus more. That that that's a good item to buy against Zed. 
Skarner pinks Dragon. Looks like he's trying to make a move on Dragon. Nope, he gets spotted out by Ward, and that will probably be the end of that gank. Yep, Leona Triss just gonna sit back, wait till the Scorpion leaves. And off he goes. I'd expect a gank on mid by Nocturne right about now. <laughs> Seeing as he is double buffed and Zed is pushed up so far. Although Zed does know that Nocturne is 6 and will probably be looking to gank him, so he's playing relatively far oh, back. Oh, Elise is pretty damaged. Uh -oh. oh, what happened to Leona? Leona must have got caught by Thresh because Thresh exhaust is down. Tried to kill her, but it did not work. And it looks like Skarner's <coughs> chilling in mid after checking out oh, the race. Oh, Skarner looks like looks he's like hunting he's for go. Leona. It looks like he was hunting for Leona right there. But he will not find her, so he should probably just look. He should really just take the wraiths and no. the double golems. He's taking the golems. Oh, Tristana going mad mode even though she's by herself. Interesting. I forgot what that move is called. Flay. Yeah, interesting flay right there. I'm not sure what that was going to accomplish. Skarner sitting on yet another ward. Skarner just chilling. Looks like Nocturne is coming. And Ari's coming as well. Yep, there's going to be a pinch on Skarner. Oh he's god, he's gone. First blood to Nocturne. Man, they... And that's what happens when you sit on wards. Oh, we got a little bit of fighting going on in mid. We're missing all the action. Oh, Ari! Oh, gets taken, gets taken down. down by the double Q and alt explosion. We missed all the action. <laughs> Meanwhile, in top, Garen is Ooh, still... the creeps. Garen is still in lane. <coughs> Garen's surviving, but he's out of pots. Seems like Garen's going to stay in lane until his teleport is up and then he'll go back and he'll just teleport back to lane like that's what seems to be his plan right now well his teleport does appear to be off and yeah he went back so he was he's probably back. coming right I don't know back what he's waiting for though he's probably waiting on an item he has kindle gem kindle, kindle gem and another no magic Trying to figure out what builds out of those two items. Alright. No, no, it's not Spare Visage. Well, either way, interesting buys by Mr. Garen. He did teleport back to lane. Hmm, well, I'd, as much as I'd like to see a gank on mid against Zed, it's... I don't think they can really do anything right now. They gotta wait for Whoa, Paranoia to come back. The up. items by Nocturne. He had himself a Wriggles and then he bought a Zeal and level 1 boots. The Zeal is an interesting buy. Maybe he's going for that Taser Nocturne. <coughs> uh, if he was gonna go the Taser route, he would have been better served by Averse Blade. But he wants to go fast. I think he needs money first. Oh, with Garen with the fake out. Lots of damage. Garen loses one fourth of his health. Elise loses half. And if Elise pursues oh, that any further, creeps. she's going to get destroyed. Didn't need it. Did not need the shield. And it's Garen time. That health is coming back. If the health is coming back, Elise going to have to chug some potions. Thresh throwing the lantern back. Caitlyn oh, Garen hits 11. It. That's big. And at least doesn't see see him. She doesn't know that. She probably doesn't even know that he's still there. Oh, oh Garen jumps the gun a little bit. Premature move. I'm not sure why he backed off there. Hey, she just sat in the rappel waiting for her to come down. Oh, looks like Elise is trying to jump on top of Garen. Oh, and here comes Skarner. Garen does not have any wards, so it, this is going to be a free Oh, you get stunned. Skarner, Skarner does not go in. 
Wow. Skarnas queuing in the bush. Not um, sure what's going on. A little confused right now. As soon as Garen got stunned, I figured Skarna would have been running in there. Yeah, as soon as he when he got stunned, he activated his shield, but he didn't go in. Garen taking a lot of free harass. He should probably just wait for the creeps at his tower. Yeah, I think Skarna should just leave. There's no point in him being here now. Yeah. And uh, it looks like an unsuccessful gank on bottom. It's okay. Get some pressure off. And Zed will probably be looking to buy soon. Oh no. Looks like he already bought. Hex Drinker and Merc Treads. Looking at the items in bottom lane, we have the makings of Bloodthirster on both 80 carries and both with Berserker's Greaves. Very even in CS, but Trisana is up 100 gold from that first blood assist. Ooh, the spin getting a whole oh, Nocturne. paranoia. No Nocturne using his ult and not diving in on anybody. Interesting. So mm. that's a long cooldown. Garen spinning a bit on top of Elise. Oh, stun the creep. It's okay. Creep taking the stun like a boss. Good guy creep. Ooh, that Q. Oh, that Q hurts so much. I've got pings going down. Here comes Zed. We got back pings going down by the blue team to tell Garen he should probably leave. So the next time he gets stunned will probably be the gank. Oh, Zed should probably move in right now. Yeah, Garen is in a bad spot. Oh. Nope. Guess not. Uh. So Zed... Kind of just wasting a lot of time right there. Yeah, he's going to make his way back to mid. But he is going to lose about half this wave to the tower. Maybe even three quarters of the wave. Oh, but he is going to look to jump on Ari. No, that's not a good decision. Oh, oh Skarner's Should there. You, oh. oh, but Skarner does not ult. Is he going to... Wow. Ult? He's not even going to go for Nocturne. If Skarner ulted right there, I'm pretty sure that was a secure kill. Yep. Although he probably didn't want to waste the ult on that though. Mm, because I don't think it's a waste. Well, because Zed can kill Ari by himself. He, he probably doesn't want to ult Ari just so that Zed can ult her and kill her. I guess not everybody wants gold then. Well, I mean that's just not a good use of your ultimate when you could use it in other lanes. Threads up the box Trouble, and the rest will probably the die. He gets speared. Yep, yeah, and he'll get picked off. Fine, I'm just saying, he he's visited other lanes, but he hasn't really, you know, gone in to use his ult, so he, he should have just used his ult when somebody's coming right up to his face. I don't know, I don't really agree with that. I think he should just tower dive someone with his ult. Zed doesn't need the help. But I mean, either way, he's not making use of his ult right now. I don't know. I'll, 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 uh, I guess you're probably right. You're the jungler, but for me, I, I don't want to waste my ultimate cooldown when it's not. Oh, I mean, like, I have no idea what he's trying to do right now. Because I don't think he's used his ult yet at all this game. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. So, yeah, I mean... The, the it, it doesn't appear like he's used it. So, I mean, that's kind of big to me when you're a level 6 gank jungler. But, I mean, Nocturne hasn't really been making good use of his ult either. Well, I mean, to be fair, at least he did get first blood with it. True. So, bottom lane will go back. And Skarner will take the blue yet again because Skarner loves blue. Everybody loves blue. Oh, Ooh, pink, pink ward. ward. Good pink ward. Getting rid of some of the vision. Opening up a gank path for Skarner. So hopefully he can make it to bottom. Before Leona counter pinks or puts a ward farther up. But it does not look like that's going to happen. Did Leona just ward in the same spot? It looks like it. So that's going to be another free bit of gold for Thresh if he just walks around. 
Mm, again, Zed in that position. Yeah, Zed in position. Look, yeah, there we go. Take advantage of Garen being in that bush. He's got good slow. They're not going to be able to kill they him. They can't kill him. Zed's going to die. Zed... No, Zed will get out. He didn't take... He took one tower shot, I think, so it's fine. Oh, that, that, that was just a bad gank. They really need to tower dive him from, from behind if they want to kill him. Yeah, so looking at the items... Garen does have a spirit visage. Interesting. After picking up some MR, I thought he would have gone Brutalizer. And there's a attempt on the Wraith Steel. Ooh, Zed flashing too late. That's definitely going to be a dive and a kill. Oh, Nocturne using his ult unnecessarily. Oh, and some more action oh, in wow. bottom. Thresh getting caught. That's going to be a dead Thresh. Oh. oh, a missed Solar Flare. Should solar Flare going down a bad trouble. spot. Using Barrier and we'll get out for free. Well, it costs Barrier. But. Free. Don't worry about it. But yeah, real unfortunate there because Zed used his ultimate in top even though he couldn't really get the kill he didn't have it available for that little skirmish and he died uh, and that knows a case of holding your flash for no reason too well because i mean if he had his ultimate he just could have ulted on top of ari you know to dodge the skill shots and just yeah. kill her well unfortunate so we'll see what happens at least still at least should really be up there harassing him or something at least still kind of not really dominating her lane she's only up to cs in a matchup that she should be destroying. Here comes Nocturne to gank her. I don't think anything's gonna come of it. Nocturne has right no ult. There. Oh. Oh, he gets the silence down. That's big. And he gets creep blocks so the fear breaks. Oh, oh Garen that gets sucks. stunned. Now, Garen will just walk out. That sucks for Nocturne. So happens when you have a big body, you get creep blocks so easy. Oh, Zed gets charmed. But well, Ari doesn't have any skills up to hit him with. Yeah, Ari's got like no mana right now. She should probably be conserving the mana. Um, I think Nocturne is taking all the blues. Really should be donating it to Ari. Riona standing around in that bush. It's a very interesting item rush by Skarner. He rushed the Spirit of the Ancient Golem. And he, now he has a Sheen and a Philostone. Sheen is a good item on Skarner, but I would really rather have seen level 2 boots first. I don't know, Sheen's only good on Skarner if you're carrying. Maybe he's gonna try and carry. Okay, well we have a gank coming. Oh, up to good hook! Hit. Good hook, use ult. Skarner not ulting anybody. Oh, oh. Tristana walks back in to ult them. That was odd. Uh, I just find it odd that Skarner, again, did not use his ult. Oh, here comes Zed. Looks like he wants to pick up the kill. Can't make it. Nope. And Zed will just eat That's one tower shot and leave. Skarner is not not, not going to take the lantern. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm guessing they're going to waltz on over to Dragon now. Um, No, they're just going to waltz back into their bottom jungle and everything will go back to laning. Mm, okay. Okay. Guess they felt the dragon is too risky. Very long laning phase, 24 minutes into the game. Still no towers going down. Oh yeah, sorry. Ari got mid tower, excuse me. But it's still basically laning phase because Ari is always Garen mid. not moving right there? So very... Very interesting gameplay oh, going on. Oh, wow, what that's pretty doing? ballsy, Garen. Garen no. You're probably going to die. Ooh. Oh, at, at least, least burned ignite, but she didn't want to dive that. Very interesting. Yeah, at least could have very easily picked up that kill. She she must have thought that was a bait. Because paranoia is up. Yeah. Yeah, they don't cost any mana. So the spider form skills are free. They they don't cost oh, mana. Oh, and here's Nocturne keeping Elise off the tower. But yeah, like the only thing I can think of of why she didn't go in on that is she thought it was a bait from Nocturne. Mm, I still think she should have gone hard because that was Guaranteed kill. She should have. She should have went for it anyway. But if Nocturne was there, it would have been a one for one. In fact, she might have not got the kill because of paranoia. But still, she should have went for it. It was. It seemed pretty free. Oh, and we got Skarner coming up here to keep Garen off of their tower. 
And it Thresh eats a like bunch Garen of damage. Looks like Garen is thinking of not backing off. Thresh takes a bunch of damage. Probably got jumped on by Leona. I see bolts of lightning coming out. Ooh, we got that static shiv and bloodthirst around Tristana. Versus Oh, blood here comes Zed. Ooh, Zed's looking to pick off. Oh, n a bit of miscommunication there. They burned both of their ultimates. Yeah, both ults. They Zed really is didn't just gonna need to poke do that. Him. Also, yes. Bloodthirst or Trist? That's really weird. Because <coughs> yeah. Tristana is one of the few AD carries with absolutely no AD scaling on her skills. Oh, Impale going down for some reason. And this could be a dead Skarner. Yep, Skarner basically forced Ari to kill him right there. Oh, but... Uh, oh, we got the counter. The got the counter yep. kill. Picks up an uh, easy kill. Oh, this could be dangerous. Can... He, uh, he got the red buff. He got the red buff. No, he's not. He got the red buff on him. That was death. Dude, that's, that, that's Zeal putting in work with those crits and that move speed. Zeal and that Brawler's Gloves doing work. I guess that I guess that Zeal was a good pickup over the over the Avarice Blade. Because that extra speed really helped right there. Yep, got him to kill. Looks like he's going Trinity Force. If not, then he's going... Or he's going like... Static Shiv still yet? Yeah, or, or he's going some attack speed item and like Frozen Mallet or something. <laughs> Some sort of crazy Very build. interesting builds coming out. Oh, I see a lot of health bars on Garen now. Yeah, he's got that giant's belt, but he still has no damage. He's going that full tank, Garen. Um, I had that in one of my games recently. It was not a good experience. Our Garen basically did nothing. And then we got... Uh, what do we got? We got... Uh, Right, I was gonna say on Caitlyn we have Bloodthirster, and it looks like she's going for Infinity Edge instead of an attack speed item. Yeah, that definitely looks like the build that she's going for. Very interesting. Oh, Garen oh. gets the jump on Elise, but has to back off because he doesn't do enough damage. Very interesting to me because Caitlyn is like one of the. maybe the only. no, one of the few AD carries that doesn't have any sort of attack speed steroid. So. I thought she would have gone for an attack speed item second. It, it, it is it is quite common for uh, Caitlyn's to pick up another big damage item before completing their attack speed item, but they normally do build a zeal. Yeah, I would have expected a zeal, and Garen's just standing And Garen's there. pretty confident. He's just kind of standing there waiting. He does not know that Skarner's there. To his credit, he does have W, and he does have plenty of magic resist, and both of those champions do basically nothing but magic damage. Yeah, plus he has a lot of health, too. They might not be able to kill him even if they get the jump on so, him. So, yeah, that's probably the only reason why he's not scared, other than the fact that he doesn't have wards. Oh, look at Garen. Oh. He's running in there. Man mode Garen. Get in there. I like it. I like it. That's what Garen's supposed to do. We got a back ping going down. Oh, that, 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 that was pretty nice right there. Tristana using the the lightning proc from Static Shiv to pick up a CS. Are we going down? Nope. Are we going back up? Garen's spinning on creeps. Uh oh. Garen does not have his spin available for this. Oh, but this is good. Fear, break the fear chain. That was good. I think they're gonna die at this. Yep. And now they're just gonna sit here and wait. Garen will alter. Yeah. Oh no. Save the ult. Yeah, I guess they figured might as well save the old Nocturne yep. already. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad for Tristana. She ran into the box edge before she flashed, but it's okay. She still gets away. And Ari forced to burn her ult. It looks like Garen is just going to clear these creeps and keep hitting the tower. Yep. Oh, he's just going to keep hitting the tower. The wave gets there in time so he doesn't eat the tower shots. And that is going to be a top tower. Yeah, he's not even interested in the CS. He just wants that tower. Wants to give his team that gold. So that's good. This looks like it might be a bottom tower pickup as well. Yeah, three members coming back, but they're not going to be in time. All right, so I think uh, uh, old Caitlyn and Thresh are but staying no around. Nocturnal. They're in trouble. Oh, that's, that's, here. that's going to be one death. Thresh is down. But Caitlyn should get away for free. Mm, Unless if Ari dives. That's bad though. They're gonna give the their tower right back. Yeah, here comes Zed. 
I don't think Zed can do but anything Zed against Caitlyn four people. Zed Caitlyn can't do anything against all the CC and damage that... Oh, Zed really shouldn't Zed's be there. Ooh, Solar Flare just missing. Got the slow, though. And he gets feared into them, and that's going to be the end of Zed. Oh, the Tristana ult! The Tristana ult saved him. Nope, never mind. Ari uses her ult. Ooh, knocked her. And there's a teleport by Karen, <laughs> and the big lightning sword goes down on Skarner. It looks like they're going to pick up this inner turret as yeah, well. Yeah, and that, and that ultimate he saved in top came in handy right there. Brings down that Demacian Judgment. D uh, Demacian Justice. Oh no, are they really going to go for this? Oh, yeah. looks like they want the... They want Another the inhibitor tower. as well, but they have no creeps after that last caster one, so they need to oh, leave. It looks like they're going to back off. They see Thrash. They don't want to get pulled into the tower. So, very good pickup for blue team. Yeah, lots of gold there. And the dragon. And the First dragon. dragon of the game at 31 and a half minutes into game. Man, and they're now sitting on a 5.4k lead. Looking at items yet again. Garen looks like he's going for a runic bulwark now. He has two pieces of the Aegis. Oh, well, at least he has Sunfire now. He has a little bit of damage. Garen going for that super tank status. And yeah, we were right. See, Frozen Mountain Static Shiv on Nocturne. Yeah, he's going carry mode. He's going that Odd Bro status. And we got interesting pickup for Ari. She, has, she had the pieces of Athenes, I think. And then decided to just get a needlessly large rod. Mm, damage. So I'd assume that would mean she's breaking her Athene's route and going straight for the death cap. And she's probably looking at all that gold she just got and when eyes got big. It's like, man, I could just get this needlessly large rod. Interesting buy on Skarner. He has um, Iceborne Gauntlet now, which is cool on Skarner, except he still does not have level 2 boots, nor does he have Flash, so he'd be very hard-pressed to actually catch somebody. Oh! Face stun on Leona and she'll eat an EQ and... Ooh, damage, and damage! Eat. Oh no, Zed, oh, Zed jumping in. on Ari. Good lantern. Yeah, Getting good lantern. Out of there. Whoa, that was an interesting engage there by Zed. I think he is expecting his teammates to move up and help him, but... Yeah, it seems like a little bit of miscommunication there. Garen super tanky. Oh, the lightning! Oh, somebody got slowed. Also, it should be noted that Garen picked up a giant spelt. Again. Going for that war mogs. So that Garen passive, really big right now. Both of his passives. I see Skarner was hiding in a bush, but he's going to go join his team now. Yep, whereas blue team... I wouldn't be surprised to see blue team try to split up. S some should go bottom and clear out that wave that's building up. And feel they should just keep sieging mid for a little bit. Oh, Nocturne with that wave clear. Q plus that lightning. I'd actually like to see Nocturne go bottom and clear the wave while everybody else holds the, the purple team mid. Oh, Leona oh. activates Shirelia's, but that seems like that was a mistake. No, it seems like what he wanted. He probably just wanted to ward the like Shirelius to get the speed, ward the bush and run. Um, That's what it looked like. But you could just do it without it. And I'm just saying that's probably what he was doing. So another blue buff to Skarner. Skarner will take his prize and go back. Nocturne going to check out the blue buff. And we'll just see Skarner leaving. Ooh, Thresh getting Ooh. caught out by Garen and Leona. But they have... But they oh, have here wow. we go. Uh, Ari comes, okay. And I was going to say, they, they have no damage, so he's not really going down. But Ari comes for the cleanup, and there he goes. So they're probably just going to tank this tower out. Oh, Gar Ari's tanking it. Garen. Garen should probably... Yeah, there we go. There we go, buddy. The man with 50 million bars of health. Oh, he should probably leave now. Garen not caring, just he'll just take a stroll and get all that health back. Everybody backing. How much gold do they have to spend? Not 
that much except for Ari. Ari does get the death cap, I was right, so she has big damage now. And not much else happening, everybody just kind of pushing out the lanes. I would expect to see someone from blue team go farm the top wave soon. So far this game really slow. Yeah, not much action to speak of. I mean, I'd assume there'd be a big fight, like right about now. Oh, but they do not have Tristana, so they can't really fight. Uh, I think Dragon's gonna be up in about two minutes. And there's Skarner sneaking around, looking for somebody. We'll probably get spotted out by Ari. Yep, back ping's going down, so Ari did find him. And Nocturne is top to clear the wave. A little lacking in ward coverage on both teams. Well, Tristana jumped for Stana. Wars? Wow, Skarner doesn't Skarner. ult Tristana immediately, so he gets ulted away, and that'll be the end of that engage. That was kind of odd. Tristana kind of jumped towards Skarner. Yeah, I, I just find it interesting that Skarner is just holding his ult all the time. Ne like, never really pulling the trigger to just get someone killed. Yeah, he really should have went for that one. Oh, Zed gets charmed. No follow-up. So, lots of derp dancing going on right now. Leona could probably land a solar flare. Yep, there it is. Slowing a few people. Zenith blade in. Oh, she missed. Oh, but there goes the, the box. box. So Garen not caring. So that's the end of that chase as well. Alright, so looking at the ults we still have up. Hey, it looks like both teams struggling to actually engage on the enemy team. I mean, Skarner had his opportunity, and then Leona had the opportunity right there. Both attempts did oh. fail. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, at least mind. taking some damage. Ari, Zed going Ari's in. Ari's probably going to Zonya. Zon oh, she did not Zonya to damage. Interesting. Yeah, so she gets taken down really low. Has to ult back out. Yeah, but she does keep contri She keeps contributing oh, damage. Thresh There's a Zonya now. <coughs> at least trying to finish off Ari. She does get Ari, but will go down. Lots of damage going down Caitlyn everywhere. Has full health. Not sure why she's not fighting. Caitlyn at full. She can take them down. They don't have enough combined damage. Uh oh. Oh, but she does. Now get, she's in trouble. Now she's in trouble. She gets ignited and she will go down. So that is an ace for blue team. Yeah, that fight was actually a lot closer than it looked. If Caitlyn had been putting out DPS that whole fight, they probably could have came on ahead in that. Yeah, if Caitlyn was shooting the whole time, she probably would have been able to take out Leona and Garen. Well, at least been, Leona. I'm yeah. sure Garen just would have ran away. Garen probably would have ran, but. You know, Garen does like to man up. Maybe he would have gone in. Might kill her with the sunfire, perhaps. Alright, so I don't... Oh man, that creep wave. Good thing Garen's wave. got his teleport up. And Garen will lawn it more down up. with his shield. I mean, with his sword. Alright, so looking at the item differences on these supports, we have the Shirelias on Leona versus the... The uh, Aegis on Thresh. We also have a locket on Leona. Thresh working on his second item. Probably going for a locket as well. But Thresh is still getting that gold income from his Philostone. Whereas Leona is not. So this is very interesting. Leona also has level 2 boots. Whereas Thresh still has level 1 boots. Mm, so despite winning that fight. Kamaka is not really able to take anything all right so looking at the builds now garen does complete his warm ups and now he has a hex drinker for a damage item interesting right now i think garen could use some armor got a five man mid No engage. And where is the range carry for blue? Uh, Tristana is clumped up with them somewhere. There, there she is. 
Um, purple team is looking to ambush whoever's going to take the red, but they don't have any wards on it. They're hiding in bushes. Yeah, they're hiding in bushes, but without any ward coverage, uh, it's going to oh, be a little... Oh, Nocturne! Nocturne! Alright, oh, so Nocturne oh. does spot them, puts down a ward, and that'll be the end of hiding in that bush. So Zed, not that much damage actually. He only has a Bloodthirster and a Hex Drinker. Versus Ari's three major items being completed. Deathcap, Zonia's, and the Unholy Grail. Well that, that start that he had really set him back gold-wise. That triple Doran's Blade. Yep, so things not looking so hot, at least with that brand core item build. The Leandri's Rylai's and Sork Shoes, very powerful combination of items. And looking at the AD carries. We whoa, whoa, Tristana whoa, whoa, jumps whoa. right Tristana into them. Tristana in, gets pulled, but it doesn't matter. She has to kind of waddle around for a bit. Because she jumped. Oh, more kills. Oh, Is she going to jump kills. again? Yeah, here yeah, comes the rock jump. jump. That's death. So that's a 3 for oh, Zed is top. And Elise is behind. Uh oh, Elise trying to jump on top of... Nobody. She Nobody. just falls down and that'll be the end of Elise. And that's going to probably be the game. Zed is just trying to counter push. I'm surprised Leona's going back. Yeah, Leona should really just stay with her team and end the game. Yep, somebody needs to tank the tower after the creeps there. Hopefully everything switches to Garen. Oh, no. The next wave is there, and that'll that'll probably be the game. Yeah, that should be it. I don't see why they wouldn't finish. And yep, they're finishing. All right, so good game. Game one Lemons to Kamakas. Show, jumping over the Nexus. I would also like to note that when I was looking at the item builds, I thought I was looking at Nocturne, but Tristana also has a frozen mallet. Yeah, check this out. 